This is the United States Army's Sobolowski Air Assault School, a school that trains soldiers in air assault combat operations, sling load operations, rappelling, and fast roping. Present, present. At the end of the air assault course, each soldier must be able to demonstrate the skills required to make use of the helicopter to support their unit's combat operations. The Sobolowski Air Assault School is located at Fort Campbell, Kentucky, home of the 101st Airborne Screaming Eagles Division. You're qualified to attend air assault training if you're a member of the armed forces and are in good physical condition. The training is tough and challenging, but the rewards are great. The entire course takes ten and a half days to complete, with each day having an assigned task and skill to be demonstrated and accomplished. Prior to the start of training, students are tested on their physical fitness and agility. This test is a prerequisite to attending this course. The Air Assault School's obstacle course has nine separate challenges that test the body as well as the mind. After qualifying physically, students study from days one through three the capabilities and equipment of Army aircraft by exploring each helicopter's unique combat abilities in preparation for a mock combat assault. Students are then briefed on the techniques to safely maneuver in and out of assigned aircraft. Safety is important during every phase of air assault school, and each soldier is trained to minimize risk. Students are also trained in assault procedures as well as medical evacuation techniques. The helicopter is very important in pathfinder operations, the finding, securing, and mobilization of landing space under hazardous conditions. Armed with this knowledge, students prepare and execute mock assault procedures under the guidance of experienced trainers. On or about the fourth day, students are shown how helicopters are used not only to taxi soldiers to and from the battlefield, but also as mobilization tools. Because sling load operations are just as important to air assault missions as troops, and U.S. Army helicopters are the best in the world at moving heavy objects up the line. Students study sling loading operations for several days, first by identifying the proper hardware, then by actually preparing loads, by rigging them, inspecting them, and identifying load deficiencies. After completing these tasks, students go to the pickup zone to hook up real loads to aircraft. On days seven through nine, students train to execute proper rappelling techniques, a challenging exercise that demands precise instruction in knot tying, preparing a proper Swiss rappel seat, belaying a rappeller, training in inclined rappelling techniques, and practicing rappelling techniques that end with a 90-foot rappel from a helicopter. You will also train in fast roping, which is a rapid way to deploy troops from an aircraft. After this exacting training, each student must complete a 12-mile foot march in three hours or less carrying a full complement of combat gear. As an end to your air assault training that required grit and determination, you become part of an elite corps of soldiers who wear the coveted Air Assault Badge. Air Assault, a proud tradition of service and skill.